Good morning, Classroom 1A. It's time for meeting. Let's go over the details of our day. Yesterday was what? What day was yesterday? Yesterday was Monday. Yeah, yesterday was Monday. So if yesterday was Monday, then today is what? Yesterday was Monday, then today is Tuesday. Yeah, today is Tuesday. So if yesterday was Monday and today is Tuesday, then tomorrow will be what? Yesterday was Monday and today is Tuesday, then tomorrow will be Wednesday. Uh, tomorrow is Wednesday. So today is Tuesday. Month is June. What number? That's number eight or eight. So today is Tuesday. June 8th, and the year is 2021. What season are we in? It's still spring. Yeah, it's spring. So then what does the weather look, out, look like outside today? You can look outside your windows. Miss Jessica is going to look outside her windows. Remember, you might have to stand up to look outside your windows. Ms. Jessica can just kind of look both ways. I look outside my windows here at school. I see that it's sunny, but also a little cloudy. So we call that partly cloudy. All right, let's go over our classroom rules. Be respectful of yourself and others. Remember, we need to respect all people. And that includes yourself because you're a person. We respect people's differences, opinions, personal space, personal property, choices, ability levels. We need to respect all aspects of all people because everyone has the right to be treated with respect. One great way to show respect is by keeping hands, feet, and objects to yourself. You need to be safe with your body and with the objects around you, even if you're upset, even if you're angry. Can we take a deep breath? Try to find a different way to communicate what we want and what we need using safe hands and safe feet. <coughs> Excuse me. Follow the directions of all your teachers. I know this one can sometimes be a challenge to understand right now because you're not working with your teachers in person regularly and you may not, you might not have been for a really long time. There's still people in your life that you need to listen and follow their directions. Parents, care providers, respite workers, any support staff you may have, family members. They ask you to do the things they ask you to do to keep you safe. Always use nice words. We need to make good choices, and that means being appropriate with our language and our tone of voice, even if we're upset, even if we're angry. I mean, take a deep breath. <sighs> Try to find a different way to communicate what we want and what we need using appropriate words and an appropriate tone of voice. So people aren't going to want to listen to us if we're yelling at them or using inappropriate words. And then lastly, always do your best. Yes, always do your best. Remember, we do the best we can with what we have each day. And your best can look different from day to day and from situation to situation, and that's okay. Your best might look different from someone else's best, and that's okay too. As long as you are trying your best, that's all that matters. All right, let's go over our communication rights. We're adults and we have rights, and some of those rights, these 15 in particular, deal with our communication, how we communicate with others, and how others communicate with us. There are 15 communication rights. And on a regular five-day week like this, we do three per day. So yesterday we did three. Now we're going to do three more. I have the right to make my own real choices. You're a person, and you have a right to choose the different things that go on in your life. You have the right, do I want this or that? Do I want to do this or that? Do I want to go here or there? You have the right to make your own real choices. Some days, though, it might be difficult because the things we want to choose may not be available. So we might have to wait. But we have the right to make our own real choices. I have the right to ask for, get, and give information. You have a right to ask for the information you want and get it. But also give information because you have a lot of important information in your head. The thing that we have to deal with, two things. First one is 
that maybe the people we're asking don't have the information we want, so we might need to wait. Also, um, we might need to be careful who we give our information to. Um, sometimes it's not safe to give our personal information to people we don't know. So we need to be really careful who we give our information to. We have the right to give it, but sometimes we need to be careful who we give it to. All right. I have the right to be a part of my community. You are an adult, you're a person, and you have a right to be part of the community of your choosing. That might be your local community that lives around you, or that might be a community of people that have some of the same likes that you have. They like to do some of the same things. The challenge with this one though right now is that for the last year and three months, we've been kind of not engaging with our community as much to keep them safe and healthy and to keep ourselves safe and healthy. So we have to find other ways to engage with our community and exercise this right. It might be video calls or um, Zoom meetings or text messages or all sorts of things to try to still stay engaged, but while keeping our friends and our family safe and ourselves. All right, how are you feeling today? Are you hot? Are you scared? Are you angry? Are you embarrassed? Are you hungry? Are you anxious? Are you cold? Are you frustrated? Are you happy? Are you bored? Are you sad? Are you silly? Are you jealous? Are you tired? Are you disgusted? Are you thirsty? Are you excited? Are you sick? You can point or you can tell somebody. If there's a way you're feeling that's not listed. You can tell somebody that as well. How is Miss Jessica feeling today? I'm a little tired today. It's true. Um, I just um, <laughs> probably need to make sure I go to bed early tomorrow or tonight so I can get up early tomorrow um, and just get some rest. I'm a little sad today. It's true, as I have been for the last almost 15 months. Sad because I miss you all so very, very much. Even though some of your friends are back in school and that makes me really happy. I'm sad because I miss you. I want us all to be back together and doing all the fun stuff that we would typically do. Even though I'm tired, I'm sad because I miss you. When I think about all of you home, happy, healthy, safe, well taken care of, and the fact that hopefully someday soon we will all be back together. And it's just going to be the best. We're going to have so much fun and we're going to work so hard and all this time apart will just be a memory. That makes me really, really happy. It's true. Thinking about all of you and our future together makes me so happy. That is what I focus on because you are my happy place. All right. With that meeting is all done. I am going to do a reading video. I think we're going to read or at least start chapter eight. Um, and please remember, we do have our 10 o'clock Zoom meeting every single day. And today we are playing some bingo. All right. I hope you have a good day today, friends. A beautiful Tuesday. And I will see you in my videos tomorrow. Bye, friends.